Hey y'all, I survived the hurricane, so let's do a tag and celebration. So this is the Rapid Fire book tag. It was originally created by Girl Reading and I was tagged by the lovely Mal over at One Hell of a Reader, links in the description below. Basically the whole point of this tag is to go through all the questions as quickly as you can without thinking too much about them. In keeping with the spirit of this video, I have put as minimal effort into this video as is humanly possible. You are welcome. There are about 5,000 questions. First, ebook or physical book? I like both. Um, ebooks are really good for particularly when I'm reading in bed and I don't want to disturb my husband, I get insomnia or I have trouble getting to sleep. I can read on my Kindle, it's got a light built in. so. That's good. Physical books are great because I really do like flipping through the pages and seeing my progress, not just on a little percentage bar, but actually, you know, being able to see how much of it left to go. And I like both. Number two, paperback or hardback? I prefer hardbacks. I like the sturdier feel of the book. I like that it can handle some more abuse. I like that I can beat the shit out of someone if I need to, if they're disturbing me too much while I'm reading. Number three, online or in-store book shopping. I definitely prefer online shopping because then I don't have to deal with people. Trilogies or series? I guess I would prefer a series. If we're gonna do it, let's just do it. Um, trilogies, to me it seems like most of the trilogies I pick up Really, the trilogy could have been done better if you just told the story in one thick book instead of in three medium books, because it just obviously there, this isn't the rule, but it just seems like to me, most of the trilogies I pick up, there's a couple extra hundred pages of fluff that really didn't need to be there. And I would rather have one big book that has the whole series versus three smaller books that contain a lot of fluff. And if your story really can handle multiple books without the fluff, then let's just have the series. Give me nine, 10, 20 books. Let's, let's just do it if you can actually do it. Number five, heroes or villains? Why can't it be both? Number six, a book you want everyone to read? Mine. Recommend an underrated book. And for this one, I am going to go with Robert Garfunkel's All of an Instant. This is a science fiction. I picked this up at a library sale. I think I was a teenager. This was written in 1999. So yeah, that's about right. And this, it didn't do very well. It didn't sell very well. And the only people who, as far as I know, it's never been converted to ebook. So think of how weird it is that the only people who have ever read this have read a physical copy of it. That's how weird it is. But I this had, this was the most unique world building I've ever seen. It's, I guess it's technically a time travel, except it's time as the fifth uh, dimension. And it's a book about living within time and time is a river over the earth. And the creatures, they used to be humans and bits of their life, an hour or a year or 10 minutes were pulled out of the earth and they now live in the river over that is time. And when they move, they create ripple effects in time that affects the going ons of earth. And there's now a civil war going on about whether or not um, uh, earlier primates should be permitted to evolve into Homo sapiens. So this was different and I really liked it. <laughs> the last book you finished. Uh, I've been doing a binge of the Sookie uh, Stackhouse mystery novels, the one that True Blood is based on. So it was one of those, I'm currently reading the next one. The last book you bought, uh, that would be On Earth As It Is by Jim Duran. This is, it's a standalone, but it's also a sequel to his first novel. And Jim's a good friend of mine. He, we both beta read each other's books when we were getting ready for publishing. 
and uh, so I was really excited to uh, finally get his book in hardback. It's I, I was hoping to show it to you, but the hurricane has delayed mail delivery, so it's it's in there in the mail somewhere. But uh, so here's a pretty picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdest thing you've ever used as a bookmark. I think one time I was completely out of options and I actually plucked one of my own hairs to use as a bookmark. Dire emergency. Use books, yes or no? Yes, definitely yes. I very rarely buy new books and that's only when I absolutely cannot find it used. I'm, a lot of people like to use books as a, in the, much the way that I use art. I like to display art, I have framed art in my home. Um, a lot of people like a bookshelf where they have pretty books displayed as art and that's beautiful and a nicely done bookshelf is wonderful to look at. I see it as something I need to dust. So for me, I'm more concerned about the content than I am about how good of a shape it's in. If I can read it and it's not marked up too bad, I'm happy. Top three favorite genres. First would be romance, second is science fiction fantasy, and third is literary fiction. And yes, I know that's technically four. Borrow or buy? That's actually a tough one. I, I, I love borrowing from my library. I use my library a lot, but I tend to prefer to buy my books simply because I'm an extreme mood reader. And even that very long three week return uh, deadline for my library can seem a little constraining to me because maybe in those three weeks I'm not really going to be in the mood to read that particular book. So usually I'll buy used or I'll buy a bunch of books from my library sale or I use my Kindle Unlimited subscription. And so I'll grab the book I'm interested in reading right then based on my mood and read it at my leisure. Characters or plot? I've completely lost track of what number we're on. I guess if I had to choose one I would choose characters. Um, I'm a lot more forgiving about a plot that's absent or not particularly well thought out if you can give me some solid, solid characters that I connect with well. Long or short books? I like big books and I cannot lie. Long or short chapters? Um, this one I like short chapters. I rarely have a chunk of time where I can read. So I'm, it's up and down, um, taking care of the kids, doing laundry, stuff around the house, whatever. So short chapters are nice. I, it's easier for me to break it up and to feel like I'm still making a lot of progress if there are shorter chapters. Name the first three books you think of. And I purposefully left my notes blank on this question. Uh, Hunger Games? because why not? Can I mention the cookbook I'm looking at right now? Clockwork Orange and the Sookie Stackhouse books because I'm reading one of those right now. God, I suck at this. Books that make you laugh or cry. That is a really personal question. Our world or fictional worlds? Definitely fictional worlds. I know of all the stuff that can go wrong here already. Give me some new stuff that can go wrong. Audiobooks, yes or no? I am a no on audiobooks. Um, I like them for car rides, but past that, I never really got into them. I'm up and down and doing a lot of things and audiobooks, I don't think I'd be able to pay much attention to them. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes. Because I am a heartless monster. Book to movie or book to TV adaptation? I prefer TV adaptations. I feel like you can, with the greater time you're given over a series or a season, feel like you can give a lot more information and go deeper the way that a book does versus a just, you know, two hour movie. A movie or TV show you prefer to its book? The Born Identity? The movie was awesome? This book sucked. Series or standalones? I prefer standalones. My preference has always been standalones. Uh, series, I really gotta like it if I'm gonna commit to, you know, 10 books out of the deal. But standalones, I love having a complete storyline there at the end. So that's all for me today. Uh, thanks again to Mal from One Hell of a Reader. Definitely check out your, her channel if you get the chance. Links are in the description below. And I am going to tag in this tag, Jade from Bedtime Bookworm. Kaylin from Kaylin D, and Will from Bald Book Geek. 
and uh, hopefully you do this and I look forward to seeing it if you do. And until then, talk to me in the comments, tell me your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you. And until then, bye bye The chicken freaking out outside. If you can't do it, give me one big book and I'll like you all the more for it. <laughs>